Hello there everyone, Ash and Flash here, and welcome on into a early LEGO Ninjago Dragons Rising set review. Today we are looking at set number 71809, Egalt the Master Dragon set. Uh, this set is going to be retailing for $69.99 USD or $89.99 Canadian, and uh, this is going to be available beginning on January the 1st, 2024. And this is really exciting, this is our first ever sort of dragon character that speaks that's going to have this mentoral role for the ninja and i'm very excited about that you could see this is i think that's supposed to be eagled up there i'm just looking at some of the similarities uh, i'm not too sure but i think so and uh, i love just where they are as well i think they'll make an excellent set i i hope that is the case with that cool door design and everything you can see all the figures up here on the top and on the side it says not for sale you can see a bit of the claw coming over over there and here on the back you can just see that uh, eagle is sort of posed differently and sore is holding on to a big sword you've got the big head and face there and on the side you've got lloyd with uh, some really cool designs in all purple there so here is Egalt all built up, and I just think that the color scheme, sort of the design for this is really unique. Uh, getting this black and white dragon looks really cool, and some of the build techniques that they've done here for, like, the tail, and even just, I guess it's supposed to be, like, sort of, like, you could see on the front of the head, it's sort of like a beard, but it's sort of also, like, hair and fur all throughout this thing that's going uh, throughout the tail and down the spine. It looks pretty neat. There's a couple of different stickers, of course, that we'll take a closer look at. But uh, let's talk about the wings, these giant wing pieces uh, that, of course, are uh, they all come on one sheet. They're two different patterns, one for the left and right wing. And you can flap them up and down. You could sort of move them around like this. And uh, there's a lot of posability here. You could even close the wings down here as well when uh, Eagle is sort of resting, I guess. But uh, they have these uh, blades there on the end, two of them on each point there. And yeah, like like you could see here from uh, the back, there's, there's quite a lot of posability that you can really get uh, underneath. There is no pattern. It's just a uh, sort of printed onto white plastic. So yeah, don't look at it from that side. All right, so let's start off over here with the head. It looks so darn cool. This printing there for the eye uh, looks great. And then you've also got, uh, again, if I turn it around on this side, you could see there, you've got uh, some scars and markings and different things. But one of my favorite things about this is the piece there in the front of the nose. The fact that it has that hole there that you could attach these pieces to create that beard looks so so cool and then even underneath there too how they have you like this is a piece that exists before but then they have you put those parts there so that you could attach all those uh, different tooth and horn pieces uh, to give it again this beard effect it looks great i love the giant hat here as well whether or not i'm not sure from the show if it's all supposed to be tan or if it's all gold it's probably one color i'm gonna guess it's gold but uh, even here on the sides with uh, these horns it just it looks great you could open up the mouth there too and you've got uh, this transparent piece there it, it looks awesome i'm so excited to get uh this character uh in lego form here that we're going to be seeing a big part of so you could see here we've got this uh dish piece there uh nothing special going on there but uh, you can rotate and move the head up and down in the front uh but here in the back instead of up and down it's only sort of side to side mostly you can bend it and then i guess turn this but then the neck looks kind of weird so it's sort of mostly side to side there instead of up and down which i think is kind of unique for a dragon you've got this feather piece there like i was saying before this sort of fur going on through to the back and uh, i like the roundness there of this body like this shape that comes on over here like it's just a very like, look at the curve of this. It looks great. Uh, you've got this sort of saddle spot where you can have someone sit. And that looks like a dragon head sort of, like, biting onto some cloth. And that sort of goes on down to the bottom part of the body. And that is the same sticker on both sides four different times there. 
And you've got uh, those four studs that you could put a figure and have them ride Eagle. Uh, you might be wondering what's up with this sword, and uh, you can just detach it pretty easily there. Uh, this is the sword build, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, you could see there's this claw, but I'm going to jump towards the end of the tail real quickly because we're talking about this sword. And what you do is you actually can attach, uh, and you're meant to do this, the sword to the tail. So I guess Eagle can fight and uh, move around the sword. It's a pretty simple build for the sword, but that's a kind of very interesting play feature. Continuing, I guess we'll work our way back. You've got, again, all of these little horn pieces uh, for that detail, like I said before, uh, about uh, the fur sort of thing. But there's a lot of posability around here on the tail and that you can turn from left to right and different things. Uh, this part here specifically, you can only go left and right. You can't go up unless you saw what I did there and it, it unhooked it, which is fine. It's easy to reattach that bottom one there if you want to. Uh, this back piece, uh, no printing or different things like that. And same with just the back of the legs. There's nothing else going on there printing wise. They do have a really cool like sort of pattern that they've got going on with some of these pieces and how they're going around the joints. That looks nice. You've got uh, this tooth piece that's been used for like fur. And uh, here for the back claws, We've got the mech fingers from last year being used there for the back feet. And of course, this leg is the exact same. There's a lot of posability that you could have with this. You could have the leg going forward like this, about to sort of like stomp. You can have it backwards as well and bend it like that. There's a lot that you can actually do with that, and especially at the ankles. Here's the underbelly, and that leads us here to the last bit which is uh, the front arms and legs. And again, there's quite a lot going on here with uh, this piece. There are four of these stickers. So one and two there on the side, those rock pieces in uh, dark tan there for like sort of cloth. I like the roundness of the shoulders. And then you've got this sticker there, which has a bit of like hair and fur uh, with a little bit of scales. And you could see just that pattern that they've got with those pieces looks so cool. I really like that. And then the legs they've got, or the feet, sorry, they've got a flag as well as two red ingots. And I really like the, the feet, the toes. Like that's a really cool looking, unique toes with those one by one bricks. That's really interesting. And coming around here to the other side, the only difference I believe is this piece. It's just a flip version of that pattern that you saw from before. Uh, but over here, again, it's just flipped, but that is the exact same sticker. And then over here on the feet, you've got the exact same build with those same toes and the flag piece and all that. Here's what the description calls the brick built tree. The gong of shattering as well as the magic mallet so yeah very cool looking design here i love that shield that's so so darn cool with the dragon face and just some of the different symbols there uh on the the top and the different sides there it looks so cool with the coral printing ah oh, i can't get enough of that and yeah i wasn't sure if this was a shield or it is a gong just how they've attached that here just to show you that you just slide it off of that uh that paint piece there and you can detach the oh, you can detach the mallet if it cooperates i guess you just gotta sort of rebuild it there but uh yeah this is this is, I guess, what they're after uh, this season. And you can pff, hit the gong with the mallet and uh, awesome. I want to start with Cinder here, the new elemental master of smoke. And he just looks so, so cool. I love the Joker hair there in light gray. We were supposed to get twitching in like some minifigure accessory pack or something like that. So that would have been the first place we got it. But to see it make its uh, sort of debut here later on in a Ninjago set for a villain just looks so, so cool. I love that face printing. The Craven, the Hunter fur there in sand blue just looks so, so great. I'm loving it as a superheroes fan seeing these pieces used here. He's got this really cool blade design there too using that piece that you saw with Eagle but in black. But uh, removing all that, you could see the torso and the leg printing. It's so detailed. Like, look at the legs. I think 
that's so so cool the feet printing too just the armor printing the purple and the blues just it looks so cool i love this color scheme for this season uh the enemies there as well those sort of the wolf looking creatures too looks great and uh yeah i'm just really really digging this you can see as well the head it's in that transparent sort of bluish dark gray i don't know how else to call it that that looks great like the printing for the face like look at this face reveal here on the back looks great with those sort of the, the markings around the eyes and then here the back torso i i really love this figure i could talk about this all day here is Lord Roz, and he looks great too. Look at this new outfit here for him. It looks great. I think that the hammer build to this sort of thing looks pretty cool with that transparent piece and uh, the, uh, the horn there in the top. But uh, this outfit looks great. Um, you can see... I think the head is the exact same one as before, but that's fine. That was already a cool new piece. And uh, you could see here that uh, it just fits in so well with this purple aesthetic. And removing all that, uh, you get a better look there at the torso. You can see the belt looks so great too with that logo that we just saw from before. And on the back, there's sort of this moon design too and some little purple shoulder bits there that come over to the back. What a great figure. Here is Lloyd in a brand new outfit and he looks great too. I really like the gold and the greens that they've got going on here. Uh, the leg printing looks pretty neat uh, with the uh, feet printing, the belt sort of wrapped around there. But the new armor, I really like that a lot. And you could see here the mask. You can lift this up and you get a better look there at Lloyd's face. And over here in the back, he's got this sort of mask design. These uh, pieces here in the back, they can hold one katana. And removing that, you could see the back torso printing, the scales and everything. It's really detailed. But uh, the masks there, uh, that design you're supposed to have with the masks like that. It looks pretty cool. Here's Nia, and she too has a brand new outfit. Looks pretty great. I really like uh, the torso design there with the symbols and all that. You could see like her regular outfit almost underneath there too, like Lloyd's. And uh, yeah, the belt printing, the feet printing and all that, the armor looks really great and looking at uh the face underneath the mask you can see what that looks like there and you're meant to take this again and do that but on the other side of this face she's got a smile and you're given this hair piece here and uh what you're meant to do is just uh she can wear it like that so i think that's kind of interesting that that's included she's the only one that they included that for uh in the set you've got some ninjargon there i didn't notice that with uh, Lloyd also had that, so that's pretty cool. And you could see the back torso, very similar again. Looks great. Here is the Sora minifigure, and this is uh, the exact same one from the other Dragons Rising sets. If you haven't seen this before, it's really detailed. I love the printing there on the arm. That looks so great with the gold and all that. Uh, this piece here on the top is removable, and then you've also got uh, this mask piece that is holding onto the katana like everyone else. You can see the back head there with those eyes, the mouth, and all those uh, markings. Looks really great. And when her eyes aren't lit up there, you can see what she looks like. And the torso and the leg printing just looks so cool. I love coral so much. It's my favorite color. And uh, it looks really great with, uh, you've got this cat symbol here on the back. Well, there you have it, everyone. That is my review of Eagle the Master Dragon. I really like this set. Again, like I was saying up at the top and throughout this, it's cool to be getting this dragon that is going to be this character in that role that we've never had before and it comes with some really cool figures as well with this set i like the side build with the gong as well and yeah it's just a lot of fun this set i think it's a little expensive but that sort of happens with ninjago dragon sometimes but it, it is quite the substantial build i will say every time that i open up a new bag it just kept going and going and going but that's just my thoughts what do you guys think of this set be sure to subscribe turn on the bell notifications so that you don't miss out on future lego ninjago 2024 dragons rising set news and reviews hope you guys did enjoy the video hope you will have a great day we'll see you all in the next one